So then the French president has arrived in northern Mali. Francois Hollande will tour the ancient city of Timbuktu after French forces took it back from rebel fighters. He is expected to lay out a timeline uh, for handing back security to the Malian army. Uh, let's speak immediately to Jackie Rowland, our correspondent, who's uh, following events there. Jackie, have we heard from the French president yet? Yes, President Hollande has been doing a tour of the city of Timbuktu, accompanied by his defence minister and his foreign minister, and also by President Traoré of Mali. They've been meeting local officials, seeing a few historic sites like the ancient library and the Grand Mosque. But above all, President Hollande has been meeting local people. Local people, I think, will be giving him a personal thanks, because I have to say, when we first came into the town with French and Malian troops, people were holding banners, not only thanking France, for the intervention, but very much thanking President Hollande personally. So for the president, it's a kind of victory parade, if you like, although it's still very early days before he could actually claim that the French intervention in Mali has been a complete success. Well, Jackie, as you know, Hollande's visit uh, comes as the Malian army faces new allegations of human rights abuses. In fact, Amnesty International says it's found evidence of torture and reprisal killings in former rebel strongholds. It says Malian troops have killed 24 civilians suspected of supporting the rebels. Uh, and witnesses, Jackie, say some members of the army have been carrying out arbitrary arrests. And this is something that Hollande will have to take on, Jackie, with uh, his Malian counterparts. Yes, and it's always been one of the concerns, uh, the extent to which uh, the ethnic black population might carry out reprisals against the Arab community who've been widely accused of supporting and even helping those Al-Qaeda-linked rebels. Now, we've seen indiscriminate attacks. We've seen shops that have been trashed. We've personally met a couple of, of Arab families really hiding at home, um, depending on the kindness of ethnic black neighbours who've actually been sheltering them during this time. And that is something that the French and the Malian authorities are going to have to address. We've spoken to senior Malian army commanders who say that they have actually been going out and preventing reprisals. Uh, we found one case of a Malian army commander who had actually taken two Arab shopkeepers into the military base for their own protection. He said there was a danger that the mob was going to lynch them. But these are individual stories and they do stand in stark contrast to pictures that we've seen of bodies that were thrown down a well in Sevare. Clearly, it is a murky situation and unless the rights of the various different communities in Mali are respected, not only the Arabs but also the Tuareg here in the north, it would be very difficult to see how the French could claim that this has been a complete success and how Mali can really claim to be a unified state um, unless all its citizens feel that their rights are being recognised. Jackie, just, just one final very quick thing. Uh, we've been hearing different things about uh, when uh, the French president is due to talk. It was said that he was going to talk later in Bamako. Now there's suggestions that it may be in Timbuktu. Have you heard any, anything at all? Well, we know that very soon he's going to talk to French troops. In fact, as we've been standing here at the airbase, we've seen um, platoons of troops marching past. They've all gathered in an area um, that you might be able to see in the very back of the shot. And it's not just French troops, but also Malian troops. Um, they are all standing around now and they're expecting the president to come and address them. This is not a press conference. Um, we're not necessarily expecting uh, political remarks. Maybe he will at this stage say something about the timetable for their withdrawal. After all, these are the troops who have come um, from France, uh, many of whom have been here now for three weeks and they could well be interested in the timetable for the French role to draw draw down and be replaced by a more active African role. But certainly we are expecting later in the day, um, towards the end of the afternoon, a news conference in Bamako. In fact, we're expecting Hollande to talk quite a lot. We're going to have a news conference from Hollande and from his Malian counterpart. We're also expecting him to make an address to the nation. So certainly he will be having plenty of opportunities to make public pronouncements before he gets on the plane back to Paris. Right. OK, Jackie, we'll leave it there for the timing. Thanks very much indeed. Jackie Rowland there in Timbuktu.